Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this spinning tapered shape animation. So let's jump straight into it. We'll start with a blank presentation, go to layout blank by right clicking and then format background and set black. We'll go up to the drawing menu, click on circle, click anywhere, then while holding down shift, drag the corner. This will be our frame for the animation and we'll need this to make sure that the rotation works correctly. Everything has to be aligned to the middle. You can do that either in the shape format section where you can get to a line, a line center and a line middle or from the home section where you can go to a range, a line and then choose it from there. I'm going to set this to have an outline of anything such as green and a shape fill of black. This is just so I can see where I'm working and at the end we'll turn the outline off. So we can now add our red circle. Again go to oval, click anywhere, hold down shift to size it and position it in the centre and the middle. I'll now make this red and I'm going to use a gradient fill where the right colour is reduced in transparency so it blends in with the black and gives it a nice effect. I'm now going to turn the outline off so shape outline, no outline. Now if we press Ctrl D, that will duplicate the circle. We're going to make this one a solid black. Size it down a bit, hold down shift and drag down. Then again, align it to the center and the middle. That's going to be the thickness of our animation. If you want it any thicker, you can actually hold down Ctrl and shift while you drag to size it from the center. I'll just press Ctrl Z to undo that. Now we'll press Ctrl D and this is the circle we're going to use to get the tapered effect. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to change it into a green color so we can see what we're working with. And I'll drag it down. And I also want to size it up slightly so I can hold down shift and drag at the corner until we get the nice tapered effect. And you'll see when I turn it to black what we've got. You can use the cursor keys for some fine adjustment. We'll now turn it to black. That looks good. You can adjust it and resize it as you wish, as long as it keeps a perfect circle on this inner side and there gives a nice tapered effect. Now I'm going to use a shape that I don't use that often. If you go into the drawing section and click down, you've got access to all of these shapes. And in the basic shape section, we have this one here called moon. You can click anywhere and it will add this. If you roll over this circle, and hold down shift and click and drag to the left or right, it will rotate in 15 degree increments. And now we're going to put it about here. Control and the mouse wheel forward will zoom in. Now we want to resize it so it gives a nice smooth rounded finish to this section. So I hold down shift and drag at the corner, hold down shift and drag at the corner till I get it just about right. Control and the mouse wheel will allow us to zoom in to 400%. We can also drag it in this way if we want a slightly rounder end. So I'll hold down control, control. I'll set the outline to none. The shape fill can be black so we can see what we're working with. We can click here and drag down to adjust the shape. And we can also set the roundness here of clicking on the yellow circle and dragging up and down. That looks about right. Now I'm going to go in and draw a freeform tool around this other section just to mask it off. So we'll go up to the drawing section, select freeform, which is also available in the line section near the end, freeform shape. Then you can click, let go with the mouse, and I'm just drawing in this shape here, which is going to mask off this section. I'm going all the way around, just dragging with the mouse and clicking. When you get to the end, it will make this shape. It doesn't have to be very accurate because I'm just going to shape fill it black and give it no outline. That's now masked it off. Control and the mouse wheel to zoom back. Click on our outer shape and set it to no outline. And now we have our shape ready to animate. Now, if we do Control A, that will select everything. Control G will group it. When we go to animations, spin, it should spin nicely. 
we go to the animation pane, double click on the group. We can actually set this to one second duration by going to the timing section and repeat until end of slide. Now, if we play that slide by pressing F5 and play, you can see that the animation looks really good. I'm going to go into the animation pane, click on it once, make it start with previous to start straight away. Nice. Now we have that. If we wanted to, we could even add another animation to expand it as it goes, such as a grow shrink. So you can go to add animation, emphasis, grow shrink. The preview will do it without it spinning. We can set the grow shrink to happen with previous, double click into here, enter whatever size we want, click OK. Now when we run that, it will animate the animation of the grow shrink and the spin at the same time. Looking good. So now we can add this animation anywhere we want with a solid background to add some dynamic interest to any of your slides. If you'd like to download the source files for any of my tutorials, there is a link to my Patreon in the description below. If you want to become a PowerPoint expert and create stunning slides, watch the next video. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.